Now, I'll tell you that this is, this is something that's been tried throughout history, and it's been really, really hard to do. I would do the same thing. I would put out my orders. I would drive around and talk to different leaders. I would ask them, and you remember the old game where you started in a, in a line and you whispered in an ear, and by the time you got to the other end, it wasn't anywhere close to what you said? Several times I could find that happening. I would tell people I want them to do this, and it would go there. You know, we could say things like secure that hilltop. Now, to an Army guy, secure it means you put military might on top of it and you kick all the enemy off. To a Marine, it means you destroy every piece of life on top of it, green grass and everything else. To Air Force guys, it means you build a country club and a golf course on top of it. <laughs> and the Navy builds a moat around it. That's what they typically do. So, so just clearly define what you want to do and then and make sure they do it. Now, Napoleon, when he ran the armies of France, he had a specific way of doing this. He would bring all of his leaders together. He would say, this is our pl my plan of what we want to do. He'd wait three days, and he would go down. He would send his team down to the lowest level. He'd say, find me a corporal and bring him to me. He would bring the corporal in, and he would say, explain the plan for our invasion to me. And if the corporal could do that, then the colonel was okay. But if the corporal didn't, couldn't do it, then Napoleon either retrained the colonel, or back then he had a way of, of uh, building expectations called the guillotine, and uh, the colonel lost his head, and the next colonel did a better job at doing that. But that's what he did. He would find what they considered to be the lowest corporal. He would bring them in, and he would say, explain it to me. So in the military, that's called Napoleon's corporal. Now, if your superintendent comes to you and asks you what the plan is, I don't want you to think he's looking for the lowest corporal in the room. He's not. He just came to see if the plan is getting out there. But that's something that you've got to figure out how you're going to do is build your communications plan and uh, make sure that it gets down to everybody because everybody needs to understand it, including the students. Because back to that thing I said about strategic leaders and strategic uh, teachers, when you are standing in line at the grocery store and people around you are asking about the school system because you know they know what you do and they say, how are things going in the school system? If they know what story to tell, they'll tell the right story. If they don't, they'll tell probably the worst thing to happen to them that day. That's the way my soldiers did. So this is one of the ways you can help them. Get the word out. Let them know what the plan is. And that way they know what to do and what to say and how to support you and how to get your great message out.